Greetings, Bloomfield College of Montclair State University family. It gives me great pleasure to welcome everyone to the start of the fall 2023 semester. This is an historic moment for our newly named college. As you are aware, this summer we officially merged with Montclair State University. We are open, we are driven, and we are enthusiastic about the future. Our Bloomfield College of Montclair State University faculty and staff have prepared an amazing semester for all our students. And we are thrilled to be working alongside our colleagues at Montclair as together we make history in kicking off Bloomfield's first semester as Bloomfield College of Montclair State University. For our continuing students, your future is as bright as ever. The courses required for you to complete your existing majors and programs are available and new resources open to our campus community through the merger will be announced across the academic year. For new students and continuing students, everyone is here to support you, answer your questions and help you along your higher education journey at Bloomfield College. As the first chancellor of our newly named campus, I am so proud to say to all our talented students that you have made an excellent choice in enrolling at Bloomfield. We will challenge you and stretch you in ways you may not imagine at the moment. And as I said, we will support you every step along the way. We are grateful that the distinctive close-knit community we cherish on the Bloomfield campus is continuing as a principal part of our college's identity, mission, and legacy. The supportive, personalized environment for which Bloomfield is well recognized will continue to be nurtured and championed. This is made possible by the strategic choice we made in a partner. It is due to the college joining a university that is equally committed to providing all students equitable access to high quality educational experiences. Experiences that put students on a pathway to social and economic mobility. As a result, Bloomfield students will be able to complete their education without interruption while benefiting from Montclair's lower tuition and fees and the support of the second largest public research university in New Jersey. What's more, the Bloomfield and Montclair merger has formed a relationship that will build upon the strengths of both institutions and enhance academic and other opportunities for current and future students at both campuses. This accomplishment has come from the work of many hands. And I want to especially extend my appreciation to our labor leaders at both campuses for their support and partnership in making the merger happen as well as our state legislature for strong backing and advocacy for the Bloomfield College mission that supports higher education access for first generation and lower income students. We are all grateful for the work completed to get to this point. And we know there's still much more work ahead for our teams at both campuses. The merger has now entered the integration phase during which a distinctive educational experience will be designed for the students of Bloomfield College. As required at, by the state of New Jersey, on July 1st, when Bloomfield merged with Montclair and became a part of a public institution, the college converted from course units to credits. One course unit now equals four credits at Bloomfield, as it does at Montclair. And for most programs, the number of credits to graduate shifted from 128 to 120 credit hours, with the exception of education majors who need 128 credits and nursing majors who will need 130 credits for graduation. Our tuition and fees are also now in line with those at Montclair. Starting this fall, students attending Bloomfield College are paying the same rates as other Montclair students and are now also eligible for the same state and federal aid as Montclair students. This is all great news. As the semester kicks off, something that isn't changing this year is our ability to get involved in Bloomfield College student government, clubs, sororities and fraternities, and non-academic programs. These are continuing in their current form for the 2023-24 academic year. 
And for at least the next academic year, the Division II athletic programs of Bloomfield College will continue to operate and compete and remain separate from Montclair State University's athletic programs. Thereafter, our determination is dependent upon the NCAA, and we will communicate updates as soon as they become available. Yes, there will be various moving parts over this next year. You will hear about many new changes and modifications along the way as Montclair State University and Bloomfield College of Montclair State University leadership teams collaborate and as we receive guidance from external authorities and as we move forward with new and innovative initiatives that are being planned to enhance your academic journey. I am so very excited about the future, as is our president. Dr. Capel sends his warm welcome with a special invitation to all our Bloomfield College of Montclair State University community. Thank you, Chancellor Evans. I'm so excited. I want to echo everything that Dr. Evans just said. We couldn't be more thrilled that this is the official first day of Bloomfield College of Montclair State University. And you, the students, the faculty, the staff, you're all pioneers as we build something quite special, quite unique. We could not let Bloomfield College and its legacy of access, inclusion, and social mobility disappear from the higher education landscape of New Jersey. It wasn't consistent with Montclair State University's mission, and it wasn't consistent with what the state of New Jersey needs. And it would have been letting go of an incredible opportunity, the opportunity to shape a liberal arts college that offers something truly distinctive, a unique, intimate learning environment that now has access to the resources and breadth of one of the state's largest public research universities. Here's the most exciting part, though. You, all of you, you're pioneers as we build and design from the ground up what this new institution, Bloomfield College of Montclair State University, will look like. And we'll do it together. I think it will be energizing, exciting, and quite stimulating to be at the vanguard of the future of higher education. So yes, it's always exciting to be at the beginning of a new school year. I feel energized by the return of the students to campus and the revitalization of our academic community. But this is a particularly momentous year for Bloomfield College of Montclair State University. I want to invite all of you to join your fellow members of the Montclair State University community to special events. For students, I want to make sure you're here on August 27th at 1 p.m for our opening carnival uh, that takes place at lot 17. We're going to have shuttles available at 12.45 and 1.15 p.m. at the corner of Oakland and Liberty. I'm reading off a paper. We're going to have this in writing for you. Don't worry. And for faculty and staff, I'd like to invite you to join us on Tuesday, August 29th at 11 a.m. for a town hall that we'll host at Kasser Theater, and we'll, uh, we'll web stream that as well. Again, congratulations to all of you. Let's have a great year, and let's launch the future of Bloomfield College of Montclair State University in an incredible, exciting way. Back to you, Marquita. Students, faculty, and staff, thank you. Thank you for choosing to be a part of our Bloomfield College of Montclair State University family. Reach out to us if you have questions or need help in managing your way, as together we embark on new pathways. I wish you a very productive semester, and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Let's go, Bloomfield College Bears. Let's get the fall 2023 semester started.